Using a text tool in ARCHICAD is quite easy. Simply locate the text box, click on it once, then double click on the screen and start typing. But to go into some more detail, let's first look at the actual settings of the text tool. Double click on the text tool and the settings will pop up. First of all, you can choose the type of font. The fonts that show up in ARCHICAD are controlled by the fonts that are showing or installed in your Windows or Mac operating system. Next we have the font height. This is your printable font size. This size will differ depending whether you are on scaled or fixed. Fixed size means that the font size is fixed on your printed page. Scaled means that it will scale with your drawing. Next we have the choice to have bold, italic, underline or strike through. Just like any other word processing software, we also have a choice for a font style. We can also choose the color of the pen and thickness of the pen. We can also choose the alignment. When we place the text on our plan, it can be aligned left, center, right or justified. Leading, width factor and spacing factor is also available. Next we have the option to angle your text. If you place your text with an angle, it will appear on your plans at the appropriate angle that you've typed in here. The fixed angle means that if you do rotate the text for some reason, it will remain at the angle that you first described. Next we have text wrapping. This is important if you want to set your text into a bubble. Next we have the anchor point. This is the point that the text box will originate from. Finally, we have the option to have a frame around our text and if we do wish to have a frame around our text we can actually have it opaque which means it will give it a background color if you want for example if I choose a frame with these colors push OK and write my text it will appear with that frame that we just described if you are happy with a particular style that you've created using a particular font, having a particular alignment. You can save it as a favorite. Simply click on the favorites button, click on save current settings as a favorite, and then type in a new name. This will always be available in the future. So no matter what you change your font to, if you go back to favorites and click on your favorite, click on apply, it will go back to the original settings that you have set. There are two methods for placing text in ARCHICAD and the first method is click in the same place twice. This will create a text box that does not wrap around. It simply gets bigger and longer as you type. The second method is to draw a box and this box will decide the maximum length of your text field. Notice that the text wrapped around automatically. Notice that while you're placing your text, you have access to all of the common features of a word processing program. To access these facilities, highlight a piece of text and then choose what you want to do to it. You can make it bold, you can change the color, you can change the size, so it's a simple matter of selecting the text and changing the required settings. To finish writing your text, simply click outside of the box and it will be placed on your plan. The next part is selecting your text. At any point, if you wish to select a text, simply highlight the corner of a text box and left mouse click on it. But not all text has borders like this. So let's show you how to select a piece of text when there is no frame. There is no frame, there is four anchor points. These text handles appear at each corner of the text box. Simply hold down the shift key 
and left mouse click on one of these text handles. To edit the text, simply click inside the box and straight away out text palette comes up and we have access to all the tools that we had before. A couple of the other things that are available to us in this tool palette are the favourites. We can actually access favourites from our little star icon here. Next, the insert auto text. There's another movie on this DVD about inserting auto text, so I'm not going to go over that. Then we have the Amiga symbol. If I click on that, it actually pulls up another palette where we can select a symbol that might be awkward or difficult to find on a keyboard. This also gives us the ASCII code for the degree sign, which is ALT plus 0176, but we don't need to know that. And then we just say copy, close that, and right mouse click and click paste. And there's our degree symbol. Another option we can have is if we just type zero, select it, and just call that superscript. That's another way of getting a degree symbol. Or we can also make that subscript. And we can also put a strike through through it. When finished, just click outside the box. And once again, your text has been placed. The other option is if you don't want the text handle showing, you can simply go to the view menu, on screen options, and deselect the text box handles. If you deselect that, we can see that there's no text box there. I can still select the text by holding the shift key down, and as my mouse runs over it, the text box turns blue, and I left mouse click on one of the corners.